let's take a look of the questions. So um, the first question asking you how many molecules are there. That means uh, the exact number, so big N, given you the temperature, the volume, and pressure. So apparently uh, the plan should be using ideal gas law. Find the small n, and the small n, which is in terms of how many mole, multiply with alpha gatto constant, then you can get the actual number. So for the um, R, you would refer it from the data booklet as gas constant, so 8.31 should be written here, and then substitute the rest. So after calculation uh, with your calculator, you should find number of mole n should be around 4.5126 roughly. So let's take it 4.5. So after you get the answer, then you can uh, put this forward to multiply the alpha gadget constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Uh, allow me to st skip a step here, which should get you the final answer is around 27 times 10 to the power 23. So this is the exact number of how many molecules are there. Let's take a look of the next question. So it said uh, got volume, temperature, be careful it is in degrees Celsius, so you have to change it to Kelvin. Uh, this is the big N. It actually calculates the pressure. So I think ideally you also need to calculate the uh, mole, small n first. So small n should equal to, this is a huge number, right? So divide by the Avogadro constant. And after you get the small n, then you should be using ideal gas law PV equals to NLT. And let's just do a quick check. You have, you want to find P, you have V, you have N, R is from data booklet and T is also given. So you should be able to work it out. So substitute all the things and it should get you the answer. And so you just uh, substitute everything and you should find the answer after you cal calculate with your calculator. Temperature, remember to add 273. And so the answer will be 13163.48. So run up to, I suppose, 2SF. So 13. 1.3 times 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4 Pascal. Okay. Last question. So it says there's a fixed quantity of gas volume is given, pressure is given, temperature is given, expand. So this is the new volume. So let's start to use a different notation. So V1, V2, P2, P1. For the previous and now I want you to find out T2 okay so um, I think what we could do is simply using ideal gas law again of course that is all we have been talking about but then uh, you'll be using it twice so for the first scenario like all the one here uh, which will be P1 V1 and T1 here and you would also have the same situation because it should still uh, follow the ideal gas law so 2, 2, 2 right here and the easiest way to solve this equation is simply by dividing both of them left to left, right to right and so since it's a fixed quantity then n should surely cancel out and of course the constant will cancel out and the rest is simply you substitute all these things into it and you should be able to find T2 so let me try okay so um, after I substitute uh, you should firstly see these power of 10 should all cancel out so just make your, make your own life easier then use your calculator 300 divide the answer which you get 800k at the end and that is all for these three examples